10 gil per night to stay in a hotel, but 9,000 gil for spice jerky. What games do you have to play to get credibility when speaking about video games? So I did a quick Google search, talked to some of my friends, and decided to add Chrono Trigger to my backlog last year. Chrono Trigger is amazing. The story is a time traveling story with a bunch of unique characters. The set pieces are all moving at the same time. There's a bunch of twists and turns throughout the story. These were modeled after tomatoes. The boss battles in this game are extremely creative and interesting and there are tons of side quests that allow you to upgrade your weapons. There are very few repetitive elements throughout Chrono Trigger. I think that when you beat an area, and there's a bunch of low-level guys that do three damage to you. You've, you've like earned your right to walk through here. One of the bright spots for Chrono Trigger is the fact that everything in the map is close together. Typically in RPGs, you have to walk for a long way, but in Chrono Trigger, everything is two minutes away by walking and encourages you to tackle side quests. Time traveling can be difficult to do, Chrono Trigger does it beautifully with different characters changing and interacting as you move through the time periods and go through different locations to gather quests. Okay, see ya. Maybe in another time in the game. Chrono Trigger has earned its place on my list of top 20 nerd cred games that you have to play in your lifetime. This game is perfect in almost every way and with that I encourage you to watch this fight with the golems. I think we got it. I think that your help was actually essential, switching to the two healers.